Check this out guys, I've just made this chick chicken ghee roast for us. And look at that guys, this is absolutely, smells so good. The reason it smells so good guys, we're using fresh spices that we've literally blended to together right now um, before we added the chicken. So enjoy this chicken ghee roast recipe guys. And don't forget, if you are new to the channel, please uh, give it a subscribe. As well as guys, please like and share our channel and comment and let us know what you think and let us know which of our recipes that you've tried and you've enjoyed. If you have any requests, um, put them in the comment box guys and we're sure we'll be happy to accommodate. Um, lots of love, enjoy the recipe and I'll see you on the next video. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do to get our chicken roast ghee ready guys, we're gonna get the masala, the spices ready. So this is gonna be, we're gonna be using whole spice as, as, been, as we said. So I've got all the whole spices here and this dish is absolutely delicious because we use fresh whole spice. The first thing we're going to do guys is on low heat we're just going to roast, dry roast these Kashmiri red chilies. I'll have all the descriptions, I'll have all the ingredients in the description box so feel free to check them out as well as the quantity. I'm using three, seven, seven here. So I'm just going to, two, three minutes. Okay guys, it's been about three to four minutes I've been dry roasting these chilling. You can see that the colour has changed and you, you can also smell the aroma of the chilli chili coming, coming through. Um, so that's when it's ready, so I'm just going to take this off heat. And it's also gone crispy as well. That's, so that's one of the ways you'll know it's ready. There we go. So what we're going to do now guys, so again, we're going to start adding the rest of our spices and this time we're going to add one tablespoon of coriander seed. I've got two small cinnamon sticks and I've also got about five to six cloves in there. And I've got a teaspoon of methi seeds, a teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of zero seeds and also got a fennel seeds teaspoon as well and again we're going to do the same process guys just lightly roast dry roast them so again two to three minutes and they'll be good Okay, got just been about again about three to four minutes while we've been dry roasting our whole spices, and these are ready. So I'm just going to quickly transfer them. Onto here. There we go. So what we're going to do now, guys, I'm going to wait for this to cool down before I blend this into a paste. So I'm just gonna pop this outside for a bit. Okay guys, so our mix, there you get the powder is all nice and cooled down. So what we're gonna do now is get, I'm gonna put this in here and get it all blended into a nice smooth paste. And then we're gonna marinate our chicken. And that's the hardest part done for this recipe guys. After that, it's just really easy. All we're gonna do is just cook, cook all the chicken and then with it. So what we're gonna do now, so we've got all our masala in here. I've got five cloves of garlic and about an inch of ginger chopped up in here. Just get that in there. I've got a good tablespoon of lemon juice. And I'm just gonna add some water, just to enough to get that into a paste. So it's going to quickly make that into a paste and I'll see you uh, shortly. Okay guys, just a minute to get that all blended up. And um, what we're looking for is... So there. That's what we're looking for. So... That sort of consistency we want, okay? So now let's head over to our chicken. 
Okay guys, so we've got 500 grams of chicken here. I have got, these are boneless chicken thighs cut into bite-sized pieces. You can use chicken on the bone and, and, or you know, um, chicken thighs or legs on the bone as well. I've got 500 grams of um, chicken thighs. I'm gonna add, first I'm gonna add some, just over half a teaspoon of holdy powder. as well as one teaspoon of Kashmir, sorry, um, yeah, teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. I'm not gonna add one and a half, but just under one and a half teaspoon of salt. And then what we're gonna do guys is get our Masala in there. So, tell you what I'm going to do. Just going to use my hand. Don't forget, guys, to please like and subscribe to our channel. If you are new to our channel, guys, what we do on our channel, we help you recreate authentic Bangladeshi curries um, at home, as well as we show you how to make restaurant style, Indian restaurant style or Bangladeshi restaurant style curries at home guys. Um, so please guys, if you are guys getting value from our channel, enjoying the recipes with your friends and family, don't forget to share with others. And of course, please hit that like, comment, let us know what you think, which recipes you've tried and so forth. So what we're gonna do now guys, give this a good mix. Smells absolutely gorgeous, guys. This is just a fresh spice is coming through. Let's try and zoom in, zoom that in for you. If you want to, guys, you could make this into you know, a barbecue, put them in the oven, grill them. It'll taste so good. Right, okay, this is good mix. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna leave that to rest. There it is, for about an hour or so. I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, it's been about about an hour or so since the chicken has been marinating in our special spice that we've made earlier. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is crack on with the cooking process. So all we're gonna do now, guys, <clears throat> get the heat on. As we sort of said earlier, guys, the difficult part of this one is just doing the prep. Now it's all easy. All we're gonna do now is just put everything in here and then, you know, wait for the chicken to cook and our chicken ghee roast is ready. So first thing we do guys now is add some ghee in there. So this is a bit good. About two to three tablespoons of ghee in there. Show you some of the other ingredients we're going to use. So I've got some one onion, fine, finely chopped. I've got some tomato, diced. Again, if you've got tomato, if you've got tomato puree, you can use tomato puree. We've got some coriander. We're going to use some lime. We've got some chili, whole chili. I've not cut them because I don't want the heat coming out. I just want the the flavour or the aroma from the chili to be in there. And I've also got some jaggery. Um, if you haven't got jaggery, guys, you can use some salt or sorry, some. Um, sugar or any other uh, thing to give a bit of sweetness to the flavor if you want if not if you don't like it sweet guys you could not leave it out but i would recommend that you do get some it does give it a pretty nice unique flavor to it right so that's pretty much getting warm now so let's add our onion in there all we're gonna do now guys is just wait for the onion just to caramelize So once the onion has gone slightly soft, guys, we're gonna add in our tomato. And we're just gonna wait for the tomato to go soft now. Right, 
add a tiny bit of salt just for the onion and tomatoes because we've got salt already in our chicken okay guys so it's been about three to four minutes now i've been cooking the tomato and the onion they've all gone soft now so which is great that's exactly what we're looking for now what we're going to do now guys is add our chicken Put all the flavours in there. What we're going to do now, guys, is wait for the chicken to cook. Keep stirring occasionally, and then we're going to add in our other bits and pieces. Before I forget, the jaggery is 20 grams I'm using, guys. So just put the heat on high and get this cooked. And then we're going to reduce the heat and let the chicken cook fully. Okay guys, I've been cooking the chicken on medium to high heat for about 3 to 4 minutes now. And that just smells really good guys, it's that fresh coriander seeds coming through, you can smell it really well guys. So all we do now guys, just wait for this to cook through. I'm going to leave it on medium heat now, so I'm going to stir it occasionally until the chicken is cooked. So I'll see you a bit later. Okay guys, the chicken roast ghee is a dry-ish dish, okay, so we've not, I've not added any water or anything onto it guys, it's purely been the ghee, the onion, the tomato and the chicken and the, um, the water that's come out from the chicken, so that's all that has been. I have, this is the reason why I have used a non-stick pan, it makes it easier to cook, because if you use a, one of the other aluminium pans or steel pan guys, it will stick and you know, it's a bit more difficult to cook it. So on a non-stick pan, it's ideal to cook this dish. Not long, but another five to 10 minutes, guys, then we were good, our chicken's cooked. So there you go. So it's been about 15 to 20 minutes so far, guys, the chicken's been cooking on that medium to low heat. Okay, guys, the final touch is now. Our chicken is cooked. Our masala, I don't want to get, make it any more dry, because this is, how dry I want it. Um, so I'm going to put them low heat, turn the heat down. The final bit now, guys, we're going to add the jaggery for 20 grams. This will give a nice sweet flavour to it as well. I'm going to add four whole chilli. You can skip this part if you want to. The reason I'm adding the whole chilli is just it's just going to give a nice aroma from the chilli without giving it the heatiness. If you do want the heat coming through, you can obviously bite into it or you can cut the chilli into, into the curry, okay? Half a lime juice, Let's get that in there, left hand. It's on low heat now, right? so that's good. And and full of coriander. Just gonna let that simmer for about another five minutes. Guys, this smells, I know I've said it before, but this smells so good, guys. I'm gonna try and get this a bit closer for you, look at that. Absolutely amazing. You must try this recipe, guys. This is so good. There we go, guys. So it's been simmering for about five minutes. I've just taken the heat off, and our chicken ghee roast is ready. Look at it, guys. Let's get that closer for you. There it is, guys. This is the final product. Our chicken ghee roast is ready. I've just taken, it's been simmering for five minutes, as we know. Just taken it off the heat. And this is it, guys. I've been cooking in the evening today, so the light 
uh, the light the light hasn't been great uh, so i might go back to try and make some time in the daytime to cook for us uh, but check it out guys this is amazing look at that it's a nice dry dryish dish i'm gonna enjoy this with some rice i think i've got some rice going i've got some boiled rice going on and there we go guys chicken roast ghee roast enjoy um, the recipe guys i'm looking forward to getting tucked into this now so see you see don't forget to guys like subscribe and share our channel as always guys appreciate your support and so forth so thank you um, and lots of love and i'll see you on the next video